Well-known Kiowa legislator Angela Chattelson McCarthy has died of COVID-19. The Native American community in Caddo County and beyond in mourning. She's being remembered as a 21st century warrior who fought for Native American issues. And Abby, I know that you spoke to her on Zoom, I mean, just days before she was diagnosed. We did that interview and just a few days later, I got a message from her saying she had tested positive. <laughs> Tonight, we look back on her life and dedication to her people. She passionately cared about her Kiowa people, and she took her role very seriously. Angela's cousin Robert Shanate tells me her passion and duty came from her upbringing. Her mother and her dad were prominent, um, you know, Native American artists. From the time she was a young person, she was able to participate in like songs and gatherings. And last month, during my project community interview with Angela, she told me that fighting spirit was in her blood. I'm a direct descendant of the Sand Creek Massacre. Angela talked to me about issues facing Oklahoma Native Americans. I live in Anadarko, Oklahoma, and we have 42% Native Americans in our community, yet we're underrepresented in the school system and the city council. She was also actively fighting racism and misrepresentation. People in the state don't know we exist until we're uh, like in a sports setting, uh, like in the championship games. And then we start seeing a lot of the racism towards the students and the athletes and uh, even coming from coaches and uh, referees, you know, and they war hoop and make gestures and and it, it's very disturbing. She told me she felt obligated to make her voice heard when it comes to these important issues. My grandparents grew up at a time back in the, you know, 50s and 60s where you can even speak out against these things. Her family tells me Angela began working for the Kiowa tribe years ago. She took her role seriously as a Kiowa woman. Helping to build its financial foundation. She understood that economic development could be a key part of who we were as Kiowa people. Becoming a legislator in 2018, she was the speaker when she died. I went to the hospital and just sat in the parking lot just to be close to her. Angela's best friend, Wendy Whitefield, told me about Angela. I was friends with everybody. You know, Wendy said before Angela was placed on the ventilator, she had a message for her friends and family. She told us she loved us all and she sent us all a text, so she knew. Angela died Thursday, September 17th at an Oklahoma City hospital. She was 49 years old, but her family and friends not saying goodbye. We don't have a word for goodbye. We don't say that to each other. We just we'll see each other again. We'll see each other again. Angela's friend Wendy asked me to mention this. She said, please wear masks, sanitize your hands and social distance. She said, we don't know where Angela got the virus, but we don't want anyone else to have to go through this pain. Angela's service is tomorrow at the Indian Dance Grounds there in Anadarko. She became a good friend of mine and a great source. She always kept me up to date on what was going on within the Kiowa legislature.